In this exercise, we're going to have a look at the DVSA B plus C reversing exercise, as you'd be expected to do on your B plus C car and trailer driving test. The exercise itself is done on a long rectangular area bordered by a solid yellow line. The area itself is 66 metres long by 11 metres wide and has two A cones at the top of the area, a B cone in the middle with a pole in it and C cones on the bottom left creating a garage space. So the exercise starts at the bottom right hand side of the area and you need to drive all the way up that space keeping the B cone on the left hand side and stopping with the extreme front of the vehicle between the two A cones. You then begin the reverse to the left keeping the B cone on the right hand side all the way into that garage area and stopping with the extreme rear of the vehicle beyond the black line but not touching the barrier and not allowing any of your tyres to cross the yellow lines at any time. The A cones mark out the top of your area. So we're going to begin the exercise by driving all the way up the area towards the A cones. Remember we need to keep that B cone as close as possible to the left hand side of the vehicle as we can. The reason we need to do that is once we arrive up at those A cones and we start the reverse we want to have plenty of space available on the right hand side for us to articulate the combination. So as we pass the B cone make sure you watch it through the left mirror. Once we passed it we're going to drive up and stop with the extreme front of the vehicle between those two A cones. Now this is going to look different depending on what vehicle you're using for your test. However, it is the front of the vehicle that needs to be between the two cones. Now, just as we start the exercise, we're gonna make sure we do our all round observations and mirror checks before we move off. And because we're counter steering, we want the trailer to go to the left first. So the very first thing we're gonna do is to apply steering lock to the right. So you can see there, we're steering to the right as we start to move back. As you do that, you'll start to be able to see more of the trailer appearing in the left-hand mirror. Now, our trailer's got a little mark on it to uh, show you when you need to steer the other way, but we keep that lock on until we see the mark, and then this time we apply full steering to the left. What that'll do is start to straighten out our car and trailer combination. Now, we do have to, have to be a little bit careful when we do that, just to make sure that that front right-hand tyre doesn't go over that all-important yellow line, so do make sure that you have a look and make any correction to your steering, just to make sure your tyre doesn't cross the line. So let's have a little look at that exercise from above. So we're applying our full steering to the right to bring the trailer over to the left. The driver there will be looking in that left mirror for the mark. When he sees the mark now applying full left hand steering and watching out the right hand side to make sure we don't cross the yellow line. Once you can see the car and trailer straight, you should in the mirror be able to see the B cone and the entry to the garage. And we're gonna to continue to allow the trailer to move towards that garage, making regular but minor adjustments to the steering as we approach to adjust our position. As you enter, do make sure you look in the left mirror to make sure you've cleared that first uh, garage cone on the left. And then all we're gonna do is continue to allow the trailer to move into the garage. Now the car and trailer will be at a slight angle to each other. So once the trailer becomes straight, we're then gonna catch that position up with the car. So looking again from above, you can see the car and trailer are over at a slight angle. Once the trailer is nice and straight inside the bay, we can then catch it up and straighten the combination. We're going to continue to move back watching our mirrors. Now again our trailer's got a small mark on the back of the mudguard to show you where to stop but remember we need to get the extreme rear of the vehicle beyond the black line but not touching the barrier. Now when you are in a position that you're happy with you can then get out the car, go and have a look and you are allowed to make up to one adjustment to your position. So let's have a look one more time at the whole exercise from above. Remember, if you do make a mistake during the exercise, you are allowed to pull forward to correct your position twice. But remember, that will give you a driving fault on your driving test, but no more than twice. So we've passed that B cone nice and close on the left hand side. We stop with the extreme front of the vehicle directly between the two A cones. We begin the reverse. We want the trailer to go to the left, so we're going to apply steering to the right. We're looking in that left mirror for the mark and keeping an eye on our position. Once we see it, we're going to apply that left hand steering to straighten out the combination. We're looking over to the right to make sure that front tyre doesn't cross the yellow line. Once the combination's straight now, we should be able to see the B cone and the garage cones in the right hand mirror. We're going to continue to allow the car and trailer to move back towards the garage, making our small regular adjustments to the steering. We're going to keep an eye on that left hand mirror as we enter the garage and begin to straighten the trailer with those garage cones. Once the trailer's nice and straight, we can straighten up the whole combination and continue to move back towards the barrier, looking to get the extreme rear of the trailer beyond the black line, but not touching the barrier. Once we're happy, we'll get out the car and go and check our position. Once you've booked your B plus E course, this is an exercise that we'll practice plenty of times until you're nice and ready before you go for your driving test.